Hey, good morning. Uh, well, today's another day. I'm just continuing to ponder in the word and uh, the message, the battlefield. Uh, angels and demons, powers and principalities, they surround us. I reflect on the situation uh, that occurred with me before church, and I'm kind of I'm kind of settling on that as an example because that was interface with the adversary, uh, one on one, and um, I look back. And I found myself in 2 Timothy, uh, I think chapter 4, where it says avoid foolish questions uh, because that just leads leads to uh, arguments and stuff. And I think one of those things was the foolish question that started off those feelings inside me. And uh, I see how it generates strife. And so we want to avoid foolish questions. That's another tactic of the adversary, is to ask us things to get us, get our heads spinning. That's what he wants to do. Um, that's another method. He wants to get our heads spinning and uh, get us off kilter a little bit. So avoid foolish questions. And I found myself in Abner's refresh, refreshing because that's where uh, the Jews go, who can forgive sins but God? All right, the Pharisees were inhabited by a very nasty spirit, and they knew that Jesus was inhabited with God. And so, what they wanted to do is get his head spinning, but he handled it very well. I will look at that today and I'll share. And uh, praise God, it's another day. I just want to live to glorify Him, and maybe we'll get some ice cream later, man. All right. Peace.